Buy with confidence is the Triple J Advantage. One-year maintenance, one-year tire and rim protection, key replacement, and $700 coupon book with every new vehicle purchase. Only at Triple J. Customers first. Top of day, Bonnie. Hi. All oh, right. I like your new car. <laughs> Thank you. Half a day, welcome to another edition of Cruising with KUAM in the hot seat today, or this month is Iwani and Pinko. Hi. All right, Iwani, so let's get cruising and we'll chat. Yeah, let's go. Okay, seatbelts? Seatbelts, because why? Seatbelts are sexy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so definitely the main reason we, we also wanted to include you in this month's discussion is not just to talk about all that your involvement with the community and with the makeup business, but um, it's also Pride Month. June is Pride Month, yes. and so let's start. Let's start with a little bit about who is Eowyn. Um, I'm a makeup artist. Uh, I'm a traveling makeup artist. Right. Uh, I, I travel to Asia, um, I'm, but I'm based here in Guam. So uh, most of my clients are mostly in Guam, so that's why I continue to stay here. Yeah, and <laughs> so what got you in, in, involved and interested in that profession? Um, I guess it started at a very young age. Um, it was, it's, I used to watch my grandma and my mom uh, just put on makeup and uh, just seeing that, that kind of transformation, like just something like an eyebrow on a person can make you look so different or even um, just putting some concealer I guess it's just the, the artistry of it it makes the whole complete transformation of it like you can turn this person into this person and you can pretty much do anything with makeup and I think that's the thing that uh, gravi gravitates me towards it because it's pretty much you can uh, a coloring book you can open it and do anything with it right color it any kind of color if you don't like it you can rip it out you know so it's it's, it's just um, a fun thing for me to do and uh, it's pretty cool that a lot of people uh, appreciate it I guess yeah there's <laughs> definitely a, a great amount of response especially if you check out his social media you want to, uh, <laughs> tens of thousands of followers and I'm sure that's is that pretty much what got you where you are today with your with the industry with getting going international I, I think so it's it's um you know I, I guess I it, it took a while for me to figure out the whole social media thing but for sure social media uh, is a super help of getting me clients um, a lot of it helps to actually not be seen only on Guam but you know internationally because other people from different countries can also see it yeah and you know that also helps to yeah it just it just helps build me helps people see me more and uh, you know hopefully get me another booking to another international location yeah well with that said you want what advice would you have to others out there I mean, a lot of, in the younger generation, they find themselves using social media more often from the different platforms. Mm -hmm. Any advice for those that are trying to make the next move for themselves, uh, be it in the makeup world mm -hmm. or just on online? Um, I guess um, find out your main purpose. Find out what your social media account will be about and stick to that kind of... Um, Stick to that kind of how do you say category. Right. So, for example, if you're a hairstylist and you want to be known for being a hairstylist, then you should always do your best work as a hairstylist and always take amazing pictures. Yeah. You know, use really great products, and then you know, of course, tagging a lot of the brands that you use, and you know, just keep constantly putting posts out there so that people can see you and then you know one day you can get seen more yeah well, it gets a lot of response i'm sure i mean it's evident <laughs> and the evidence is there with with what you have going here yeah okay we'll keep it here with kate with cruising with kuam because coming up next we'll hear more from you a little bit about him and what he has to say about the lgbtq community here on guam
Buy with confidence is the Triple J Advantage. One year maintenance, one year tire and rim protection, key replacement, and $700 coupon book with every new vehicle purchase. Only at Triple J. Customers first. Buy with confidence is the Triple J Advantage. One year maintenance, one year tire and rim protection, key replacement, and $700 coupon book with every new vehicle purchase. Only at Triple J. Customers first. Hey, welcome back to Cruising with KUAM <laughs> in the hot seat. Iwani and Pinko, who spoke a little bit about his uh, time in the makeup industry as well as his travels to the Asia Pacific region and all that he's been involved with with social media as well. Iwani, thanks again for joining us. Thank you. So, uh, June is Pride Month. Here on Guam, I mean, it, it's limited with a lot of things that we have going on, but we celebrate the best we can. What it has been your take or just your view of the LGBTQ community here uh, on Guam? Um, um, with that, I, I think it's uh, really growing. I think we're getting into another step, you know, and I, I really do think that it's um, people on Guam are very accepting. You know, it's not crazy, and um, you know, and if people see it, I think a lot of people just kind of mind their own business about it. Okay. And yeah, you know, one step at a time. You know, we're, we're moving to another new generation of it, and it's, I think it's becoming more and more super accept accepting, especially yeah. here in Guam. Yeah, and and you definitely. Uh, can, can vouch for how it relates to other places. You've been to different uh, Pride events and other events elsewhere with your travels. Yeah. How would you compare that? Do you think that we're pretty much getting to that level with... Yeah, I think we are. Um, I guess the population in uh, other countries are, of course, crazy, crazy huge. And sure. I know we do have a big population of LGBTQ here. You know, it's just about... Uh, I guess trying to get more people involved and you know, it doesn't mean that you don't have, you have to be there at this kind of um, uh, event, but you know, uh, you know, you can even use social media to show your support, you know, there's just uh, other things around it to do. Yeah. <laughs> do, you, do you find yourself still getting involved though with the local events, especially since Things seems like in the last couple of years things are just starting to really pick up. Yeah, of course. Um, every time there's an event, I always want to at least go and hang out there because you know you get to meet uh, you know your your gay friends, yeah. and then you get to meet new gay friends. People you can relate with. Yeah, and then you know it just it kind of feels more at home. You know, this is our environment. Yeah. So it, it's pretty fun. Um, so throughout the month, I think last year it was said to be what, one of the first actual and official pride marches that we had. Mm -hmm. yeah. Did you get involved with that? No, unfortunately I wasn't here for that. Yeah. Um, I was here for the, the one of the parties they had, but the actual march I actually flew somewhere. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so hopefully this year if, uh, if my schedule permits, then you know, of course I'll join that. I never actually uh, joined the parade, so mm -hmm. cool. <laughs> For sure. Yeah, and, and same same series of questions that I've asked um, others in the community. You know, last year while we were uh, recognizing and celebrating Pride, it was um, what what piece of advice would you have to others out in the community who have a hard time um, just with, with living the way that they feel they can or should. Um, I guess, like, for example, for me, like, growing up, I never actually came out, like, I never actually told people, like, oh, hey, yeah, I'm gay. Yeah. I just kind of made it kind of just a little bit more obvious so that, that people can figure it out. But then in their mind also, they know that, um, you know, I'm still a good person. I'm doing all my work. I'm... I'm working hard and you know so they get in their mind that he's gay but they get in their mind that it's not something bad you know so um shit. yeah well so 
Yeah, what's so crazy is that sometimes people find it hard to to speak their truth or, or identify who they actually are mm -hmm. with others in society because society, you don't hear, for example, like a straight person come out, so to speak. Yeah, true. Um, all right, well, when we return, <laughs> more insight from Iwani, and I don't know, maybe we'll ask some a bit more tough questions about uh, what you had to go through as well, huh, Iwani? Yeah, maybe. Exactly. And we'll get some makeup <laughs> tips, I'm sure. Okay, we'll do some makeup. Yeah, we'll be right back. Buy with confidence is the Triple J Advantage. One year maintenance, one year tire and rim protection, key replacement, and $700 coupon book with every new vehicle purchase. Only at Triple J. Customers first. Buy with confidence is the Triple J Advantage. One year maintenance, one year tire and rim protection, key replacement, and $700 coupon book with every new vehicle purchase. Only at Triple J. Customers first. All right, hop day. Welcome back to Cruising with KUEM again. Iwani and Pico in the hot seat. Iwani, so back to the makeup. Uh, what is the biggest thing that you find people come to you and ask, ask assistance for? I mean, there's a lot when it comes to makeup. You said it's like a coloring book. Yes. Where do we start? Um, what do you mean? What do people ask? What do people ask uh, the most when, when they want advice with their makeup? Um, advice? Um, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, um, I, I guess people, I guess a lot of people just want to learn more about, uh, I guess I noticed here on Guam it's about the smoky eye. Although people say I want it so natural, but then people will show me pictures and say I want the smoky eye but natural. I'm like, huh? So you want the smoky or do you want it natural? Okay. <laughs> it's also funny because sometimes I get clients that come to me and then um, they say, oh, can you apply lashes on me? I'm like, yeah, I can apply lashes. And then they'll like take out their, their wallet and then they'll pull out their lashes and then the lashes will be like so flat and like crooked. Right, I saw you post something I got <laughs> recently on your Instagram about how you combine things uh, to yeah. make, it, make it the most, the yeah. cooler lash, right? But yeah, you can uh, uh, put lashes together. No, but I mean like this this girl one time, she brought me a, a lash and it's completely flat. Okay. Like when you when you look at it, it looks like it's like flat like a paper. I said, oh, you're supposed to put this in a case. Why? Uh, put it in your pocket mm. <laughs> so it kind of that won't work <laughs> yeah and, and and speaking of doing makeup for a lot of events you yourself uh, have also been very involved like with the pageant community mm. yeah sure. Super um, love pageant. especially like miss pacificana of course you want to have to think of mention here who is in it as well pop that picture up if we have it oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and so what's GPT. it what's it like being involved with that with I mean mm. it, I'm sure it can be pretty chaotic yeah um, usually when I work with pageant girls it's it's really fun because you see a total transformation not just a makeup transformation but you see like a little uh, a girl you just met and all of a sudden comes pageant night she blossom into a queen you know with the hair makeup posture etiquette you know and it's so cool especially when they win the title then you're like okay we did such a good job yeah. <laughs> how many how many you think you've done where they actually got the crown actually a lot yeah Countless? honestly most of the girls i've ever worked on always at least made it to top five or they got a crown oh so. listen up ladies <laughs> <laughs> nice and so what's the feeling that you get from knowing that, you know, you're doing your part to assist these women um, with, with what they need? Mm. Yeah, it's super rewarding, you know, it's, it's not only, um, you know, get your makeup done and grow, but, you know, being part of the process mm -hmm. of helping them grow, helping them do their own face, you know, even for everyday life, because not everyone goes around with that super glam Instagram smoky eye and contour and filter stuff so yeah you know it, it's good to teach and uh, make people learn different kind of things so that they can also do these minor things for themselves to you know 
help them get through life, make them feel more confident for and sure. beautiful. So for sure. What about rewarding. what about for that other percentage of, of the population where they feel like you know they like a little bit more of a natural look or yeah. they feel like they don't want all that caked on, <clears throat> on onto their face. There there are ways for that. There are there are Yeah options, of course. Right? Actually, it's like what even what I do every day. I don't even though I love doing makeup. I actually hate wearing makeup. Mm -hmm. But you know, for me, I always need at least eyebrows. <laughs> so I always have to do my brows, and then I just do a super tiny concealer like under my eyes, so I don't look as um, tired tired I guess throughout the day. So it gives you more of a fresh look. So me just using those two kind of products, it's like it'll change your day, change your selfie game, and. Uh, get you through the whole day of not looking crazy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we were talking a lot about what Iwani can do to help those people get through their day so they don't look so crazy. Coming up uh, next on Cruising with KUM, we're going to pick up our model. Iwani's going to jump in the back seat and give us a quick, show us a quick makeup tip on the go. Keep it here. Buy with confidence is the Triple J Advantage. One year maintenance, one year tire and rim protection, key replacement, and $700 coupon book with every new vehicle purchase. Only at Triple J. Customers first. Buy with confidence is the Triple J Advantage. One year maintenance, one year tire and rim protection, key replacement, and $700 coupon book with every new vehicle purchase. Only at Triple J. Customers first. Well, welcome back to Cruising with KUAM. You can see Iwani jumped in the back seat here with, after all that line of questioning, I think you did okay with that, huh, Iwani? Yeah. And then we have our model, Tori, in the back seat as well. We'll see what quick tips and how he's going to show us to do these quick on-the-go makeup. Uh, tips, but of course be safe. Don't make up and drive. Don't make up and drive. <laughs> okay. All right, Iwani. We'll continue to chat more as you uh, tell us about the tips. So, how do you usually get started when you when someone approaches you? How do you you just do you have to look at their face or do they usually uh, make suggestions? Um, I guess I've been uh, pretty much doing it for so many years, so. I kind of just look at them, examine, mm -hmm. and then I just kind of wing it. Yeah. Okay, let's get to it. <laughs> so, I guess we'll start with some, maybe some concealer. The thing about concealer is that you can just put it wherever you feel like covering. You can use concealers to conceal bad moods, anxiety. <laughs> really? Interesting. Hide <laughs> age. <laughs> <clears throat> so concealer is basically something you want to cover just to give you that freshness. Mm -hmm. And you don't need to put it all over the place. You can just put it where you feel like you do need it. And that's done. And then you can add some blush to make it a uh, Fresh, fresh though. What should we call this? Five minute? <laughs> and so does it matter like what area, like how you put it on or is there... <clears throat> when you're putting on blush, smile. Yeah. And then put it on the apples and back. Back into... Uh, before the ears and and for people when when they're out on the go it I mean it can it be that simple though just to get all yeah of this done actually it's it's kind of like when you're doing makeup for a while you know you kind of just figure things out especially when you use makeup yourself like later on you find out what's really good for you you find out uh, what's not good for you what you should never do you know, it, it kind of just comes naturally, especially for a makeup user. Mm. So the brows, I'm just trying to do it with a, um, uh, waiting for a moment of the car to slow down. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's important. 
Because I don't want I don't want to bring the brows to heaven in case there's a problem. <laughs> okay. And you said you've been you've been doing makeup for how long now? Mm. Pretty much uh, from a young age. Actually, ten about maybe eleven years. Eleven years. I practiced since high school. I used to just buy like the drugstore brands before. Right. Because that was like my lunch money. <laughs> And then I used to just um, go bring it all to school, yeah. lunch break, call my friends, hey, let's do your makeup. So it's kind of like, it's always been uh, inside of me to learn more about it. I, when I first started, I knew nothing about makeup. I was like, what's a contour? What is this? Why, why do you use this? So like I was one of those clients that talked to me. Yeah like confused or you know it, it super like trained me and guide me in a way and then now I'm not working with Mac so um, like I'm not in the store anymore so now I think it's pretty cool that they call me back to do events and um, yeah it's pretty fun and then it also helps to uh, I guess for more people to see me the people that don't see me so often. Yeah. <laughs> they can get to see me in store and you know, get a chance to play with some makeup with me and stuff. Okay, we're going to mascara. Like the third part? Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> mm, so a trick with mascara is you want to get the mascara and then you just kind of like twist it inside to get all the formula on the brush and then when you put it on the lashes you like go back and forth and then you just brush it up and then we're gonna go to some lips this is just a coral lip color and uh, I think this is one of a really pretty color especially for on the go and you want to put on something but you know it's daytime and you want to go shopping go to the grocery this is something that will give you like at least some pop of color and, uh, and you know, for that, that fresh look okay rub your lips together <clears throat> and then for the last you can get that same blush you put on your cheek something super quick you don't need to um, get all crazy with shadow especially you want it to be quick and on the go and then you can probably just use like your finger and just put it right on top of the lid so this is just a setting powder it's invisible so pretty much you can put it on top um, of your shininess um, your oils so like even throughout the day you can even use this to touch up and you won't pretty much you won't pack on anything because it's invisible so it's like a sheer invisible powder so you can use that throughout the day just to get rid of that if you have some kind of shininess or something you know, just to freshen up the face more okay and we're good that's it yeah all done yeah let's see let's color let's have you look into the camera over there and just get close how was that for you? Complicated. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I guess minus minus the bumps. Then yeah, sure. Yeah. Bum is just a bumpy road. <laughs> <laughs> but we got that makeup done and quick and on the go. Yeah. A matter of minutes. Now she's ready to go grocery shopping. She can go to the mall. Go home and take a selfie. <laughs> post it on Instagram. Right. <laughs> Is there any any uh, thing else that you want our viewers to know if they want to find out more or maybe just uh, check you out on your pages? <clears throat> um, what? Where can people find out more about you, Ani? Um, everywhere: YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. It's just pretty much my first name, Ioani. So I O W A N I. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Tori. Thanks, Ioani, for your time, and happy Pride, guys. Happy Pride.